Jack Brownlee is a young man with a good life. Every Sunday morning he goes to play football for his local team in Ballarat and even likes to hang back after for lunch. He has a good job working in trades, working at construction sites and loves spending time with his friends. Jack is a loyal man and always puts others before himself and loves taking care of his family. One man is dead and another has been injured after a trench they were working in collapsed in Ballarat west of Melbourne this morning. Other workers and emergency crews tried frantically to dig the men out, but sadly one couldn't be saved. Jack Brownlee, aged 21, was severely injured in a freak trench collapse. He was taken to hospital and passed away the next day. The young Ballarat labourer is being remembered by friends and family as a compassionate and loyal mate after he tragically became the second victim of a trench collapse in Delacombe. Staff at the Royal Melbourne Hospital were unable to keep the 21-year-old alive after he was airlifted from the work site. Workmates and first responders spent hours trying to rescue him after he was buried up to his neck in debris. This is a tragedy that most think was avoidable. Unions all across Victoria have launched a campaign to pressure the Andrews government to follow the lead of Queensland and the ACT to introduce the industrial manslaughter law now. It is the action or inaction of an employer or manager which results in the death of an employee, co-worker or even a pedestrian. The industrial manslaughter legislation is a common demand of trade unions to allow criminal prosecutions of owners and employers for workplace deaths. This law was firstly introduced in Queensland on October 17, 2017. It was commissioned by the government in October 2016. The review for it was the response to four deaths at the Dreamworld theme park in the Gold Coast and two deaths of co-workers at the Eagle Farm Racecourse in early 2016. After realising people had lost their lives because of the inaction taken by the employers of these workplaces, the Queensland Parliament passed the Work Health and Safety and Other Legislation Amendment Bill to introduce the industrial manslaughter provisions. A corporation found guilty of industrial manslaughter can be fined up to $10 million, while an individual can be liable for a penalty of 20 years in prison. Campaigner Dr. Jerry Ayres quoted, For more than 20 years, I've been attending sites where a worker has been killed. I've carried bodies out and cleaned up blood and consoled workmates. I've seen grown men in uncontrollable fits of tears and families devastated at unnecessary funerals. And what makes it worse is that every one of these deaths was preventable. Another horrible story about a father who lost his son. The father, David Ricketts, lost his son Ron to an electrocution at work, just shy of his 26th birthday. Ron was an electrician and an athlete in his prime. David is now fighting to make sure no other families have to experience the same heartbreaking loss that he did. When we leave for work, we expect to arrive home safely. This is how it should be, and no one should have to think otherwise. But people are being killed at work far too often, and not enough is being done to stop it. If we want bosses to take the issue more seriously, there needs to be tougher penalties in place. Right now, the fines for killing a worker are often less than the cost of fixing safety hazards in a workplace. We need industrial manslaughter laws to send a strong message to employers that lethal negligence will no longer be tolerated. Kill a worker, go to jail. This is why we are backing David in the calling on Liberal leader Matthew Guy to support the introduction of industrial manslaughter laws. We've had some success already in getting Premier Daniel Andrews to pledge his commitment, but the right to come home safe from work is something all the parties should be able to agree on. David has started a petition for the call of industrial manslaughter laws in Victoria now. You can use this link to sign it. As of June 1st, 58 Australians were killed at work this year. Last year, 187 Australian workers were killed at work and since 2004, almost 3,800 innocent lives have been lost at work. We need to change the rules.